Hello, and welcome back to another development log. Can't believe it's already been ten weeks. Time flies fast. It's still taking a while to complete, but... I'd still say it's coming along well. I wasn't expecting to get this far this quick. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have much to show this week. I had a uh, really bad sore throat that prevented me from uh, doing much for uh, three or four days, so... That had a little bit, but... Compared to the last couple weeks, this might not seem significant, but I'm planning on adding more uh, in the following weeks. Um, I've extended the UI period by a week, so I can have enough time to wrap it up. It, it's getting closer. Some of the stuff will be done later, and some of the stuff will be done now. I, part of the systems depend on each other, so we'll get to that when it, when it becomes relevant. Like the multiplayer sections, like the quit and all that, and those will... Those will start working when multiplayer works. In the meantime, uh, I'm just going to pull it up here and uh, go in. If you'll notice, the two swords on the ground now are colored random colors. This is just, just something that I can use to keep track of it. If you also notice, the uh, spells down here have changed symbols. I've just consolidated them to the basic set that I have downloaded from the asset store. I'm not going to actually use these in the end game. I just wanted to be able to distinguish and have the same style for when I change all the uh, icons. Um, now if I go to the inventory, this still looks the same. Uh, I can now uh, click one and click... Actually, I'm going to drop these first. And they fall on the ground. They act just like those items and end up on the ground. The two in the inventory also pick up their own colors, just so you can distinguish them. For example, if I pick up the blue one, and then drop it again, it's still blue. It retains all of its information, despite the fact that it's deleting, it, deleting and recreating itself. So it keeps spawning the same direction. Hmm. No, it's just random. I don't know. Whatever. It faced the same way. The same way, uh like four times in a different way. Whatever, I don't really have to look into that. So I'm going to uh, equip it now. And if you notice, my sword changed to blue, and now my spells changed. So before they were uh, the Ice Barrage, the Hailstorm, uh, I think the Dark Ball, and some fourth thing I can't remember. Now it's a Shock Ball, and I believe this one's Lightning? Hailstorm. And then the Dark Ball and the Light Ball. I don't feel like doing the Dark Ball. It takes a while to cast. Uh, so now if I go and pick up the Red Sword that was sitting in my inventory before. And I'll just drop my original one. Or not. Which one's which? Oh. The original one will take on a different color. Like, it starts out gray. When you drop it the first time, it'll pick one color. So now it's blue. But I'm going to pick up the red one. Let's see. Can I just... Oops. Equip, not drop. And now this one's got Light Ball, Shock Ball, Meteor, and Fireball. The colors have nothing to do with the elements. It's just just kind of there. So I'm going to pick one of these up and try equipping that. It's not the one I wanted. There we go. That's one of the other ones. And this one's got Fireball, Light Ball, Shock Ball, Meteor. It's, it's all random. The ones on the ground and the ones in the inventory act just the same. Um, I don't... There isn't an option to unequip them yet, but they'll be down here, available. So when they get equipped, it'll the buttons will uh, go down here instead of up here. But I haven't built this section over here yet. It's just the one on the left. This will probably be next week. This, and when you cursor over things, showing the stats in the upper section. Until then, though, uh, I think this is about it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go put back on the red sword and uh, get rid of the rest, because I can. Actually, you know what, just to, just to prove a point that these, uh, they're not just sticking to the plane, they'll stick to wherever you put them. I'm going to drop one on top of the cube. At least, I'd like to believe they stick where you put them. Let's find out. Haven't been up here in a while. Still haven't fixed the jumping. I'll get around to that. There's <laughs> so much to get done. Not as much time as I'd like to do it. Whoa! Well, that one spawned in the ground. <laughs> eh. You get the point. I don't feel like running it up here again. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's it for the uh, technical.
technical stuff this week. Um, next week, it's just going to be more UI stuff. I'd like to get that finalized, and uh, after that, I guess I'm moving into the multiplayer. Um, this just being making sure everything can communicate between uh, players and server just fine. And then slowly opening up multiplayer, like, to actually play the server. But before then, I need to get all of this stuff done. These go hand in hand, but I need to make sure multiplayer works before I start AI to figure out how the multiplayer is going to handle the AI calculations, but I need the AI for multiplayer to have any sort of content. So, I'm not going to be releasing much until I get both of these done. I'm Be sure to keep you all updated, though. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make an upload around the week of the 31st, as I will be gone. I do plan on having an upload pre-recorded and scheduled to release then, but I'm not exactly sure how much content will release in the weeks prior or following that, just to make sure I have enough to actually release something that week. Um, Till then, though, uh, still just going to keep fiddling with it and see what I can get done. I don't know. It's coming along. I'm glad to say that. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you again next week.